This is Angelus TV, God's voice that brings hope to the nations. Praise the Lord. This is your friend Michael Masambu. And I'm so thrilled that today we are beginning a new series. And this series is so powerful. It, it concerns you. It addresses you. It is going to deal with you. And it's going to empower you to become a blessing to other people. And it's going to empower you to become everything that God created you to be. If you open your heart and you become so willing to hear what the Word of God is speaking to you, what the Spirit of God is speaking to you, my friend, I can assure you without any shadow of variableness that this teaching is going to lift you from where, where you are and put you where God wants you to be. Our new series today is Convidence, Lost and Regained. You know, one of the blessings that God has given a human being is confidence, and particularly confidence in the presence of God, confidence to approach God, confidence to commune with God. Now, dictionary will tell you that confidence is a state of mind that involves a sense of security and assurance without arrogance and conceit. It is a feeling of self-assurance arising from one's appreciation of one's own abilities and qualities. Psychology today defines confidence as a belief in oneself, the conviction that one could meet life's challenges and to succeed and the willingness to act accordingly. Friends, we are living in a world and society that, has, that is determined and the devil is so determined to mutilate you and to destroy and dismember your confidence. And the devil's plan against confidence was first uh, hatched and executed in the Garden of Eden. Remember, before man sinned against God, the Bible tells us that in the cool of the day, the Almighty God could come down in the Garden of Eden and he could enjoy communion with Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve were having confidence in the presence of their father. They were having confidence with God. They had confidence in the presence of God. Anytime he showed up, like kids running after their father, they ran after God and they communed with God. They fellowshiped with God. They enjoyed the imprints of God. They enjoyed the presence of God. But friend, you know what the devil did when he deceived Adam and Eve and they rebelled and disobeyed the word of God? You all know that when God showed up after they had sinned, the two people had lost confidence to stand in the presence of God. And as a result, they ran and hid themselves in the thicket. And God Almighty asked Adam, Adam, where are you? And they are here, Lord, we are here hiding because we have lost confidence to stand in your presence because we feel awful, we feel Sin, we, we, we feel so dirty to stand in your presence. We feel so inadequate to stand in your presence. We feel so unqualified to come where you are. And God says, now all these things that you are saying, Adam, who told you? Did, you? did you disobey my commandment? And Adam quickly jumps and says, no, no, it's not me. It is a woman that you gave me. Excuses. He never, he never repented. Where the, 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 the everything was lost is Genesis chapter 3, verse 9 and 10. That I will read from this version. It says, Then Yahweh called, Yahweh God called Adam's name and asked, Where are you? And Adam answered, I heard your powerful presence moving in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. 
This is from the Passion Translation. So Adam lost his confidence to go in the presence of God. But friend, I just want you to know this. Just as suddenly as they lost their confidence, did the Almighty God also quickly come in to restore their confidence? He made them tunics of animal skins and covered the shame of their nakedness and said, babies, you can now come into my presence. Look at the love of God that he is willing to look for the lost. Just like uh, the, the parable of Jesus who said, uh, a shepherd who was taking care of 100 sheep, one got lost and he left the 99 and went looking for the one in order to bring it back into the fold. That is what God is after. God wants to restore your confidence. Despite the fact that you have gone through divorce, you have gone through all manner of things, you have you have you've fallen in sin, you have done terrible things, God is still pursuing you to restore you to a place of confidence that you can stand in his presence and continue having communion with him. Now, the confidence, the confidence that was lost is now restored in Genesis chapter 3 and verse 21. The Lord God made tunics of animal skins for Adam and his wife and clothed them. So God's desire, God's desire is for each one of us to return to him, to have the confidence in his presence. It is his initiative. It is not yours. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. It is God that is pursuing you to bring you back to himself. I encourage you, beloved, this morning that you just lift up your hands and thank God that he is pursuing you and he's pursuing you to restore you to a place of confidence where you can stand in his presence without any sense of shame, guilt, or inferiority. You can stand in the presence of God without any fear because he loves you and he cares for you. Isn't that amazing that God is willing to bring you back to a place where Adam and Eve were before they sinned. He wants you to come to a place where you can commune with him. You can fellowship with him and enjoy the presence of the Almighty. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord, I thank you for this day. I give you all the praise and all the glory for how much, Lord, you have shown your tender loving kindness and revealed yourself to us. I just pray that God, you help my dear brothers and sisters wherever they are, that Lord, you restore them to the place of confidence in your presence, that fear and imitation will no longer rule in their hearts and minds. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching this broadcast. For more of such uplifting Christian content, please click subscribe. Click the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another broadcast. Thank you and God bless you.